everyone welcome back i'm your friend shubhrangshu and you are watching my channel whose name is annual can be creative for i bring to you some videos related to what i can be craft and puzzle solving today my video is on how to solve this 3 by 3 mirror cube it's a very easy way so we are wasting a further time let's start the video As I have shown you all, this is our 3x3x3 three by three by three mirror cube. So, like every video of cube, at first we have to see some basic notations. What they say? For right layer we show, we use R, left layer we use L, middle layer M, upper layer U, center layer C, down layer D, front layer F, E layer E and back layer B. Okay, so take any of the side, they are using with the right hand is right layer, this layer with my left hand is left layer, A layer between right and left middle layer, this is the upper layer, this is down layer and layer between upper and down is the front, uh, sorry, is the center layer, this is the front layer rotating with, uh, with my this finger and just opposite the front lies the black back layer and between front and back lies the E layer ok this one this one what I think is the E layer so until this it was nothing difficult so let's see some basic signs used by solving the Rubik's cube so signs for the 3 by 3 Rubik's cube you will see the signs in your screen as well here so the signs are for right left and middle layer upward and downward arrow for u center and d layer forward and backward arrow for f e and back layer we use clockwise and anti clockwise arrow so before starting to solve the 3 by 3 uh, mirror cube I want to make it clear that this 3 by 3 mirror cube is totally similar to this 3 by 3 Rubik's cube. The only difference I will show you all. Okay, so if you have not seen a video how to solve this 3 by 3 Rubik's cube, go into the description or click the eye icon here to see this video. Okay. So at first let's scramble this cube. So friends, this is how the 3 by 3 mirror cube looks once it's scrambled. It's looking very weird now. But once you know how to solve the Rubik's cube, you can easily solve this mirror cube. Stay, stay have patience. Even if you do not know to solve, how to solve the Rubik's cube, see this video. I am damn sure after watching this video full you will be able to solve the cube solve this one cube so at first to solve the theory to mirror cube we start by solving with a corner piece so what's the corner piece the piece which has three colors in it one color two color three uh, sorry here the colors are not present but one sticker two sticker three sticker this is the corner piece one sticker, two sticker, this is the edge piece and only one sticker is the corner piece, uh, center piece, sorry. Like the TYT Rubik's cube, in TYT mirror cube as also, the corners do not change their position. So, I am taking this corner piece. So, let's find its corresponding edge piece. Uh, Yes, I can find that this corner piece is matching with this edge piece. Okay, and it's also matching with this corner piece. So we find that this has a line has been created. Now we have to match this line with its corresponding center piece. 
So after I turn this line, I found that this center it has matched with the center piece. You can take any any corner piece and match like this. Okay, it has matched with this center piece. Now we will find the other two, other three edge pieces and two corner pieces. So let's find them out. Mm, yeah, okay. Here I can find that this HP is matching with this center piece, so I am sure that this HP will come here. So how to do it? At first, I turn the bottom layer here, then I turn the upper layer there, in the opposite direction. I turn this right layer behind, uh, uh, right layer sorry, right layer down, and then again back to the position now by switching this by hand position up center forward down and back now you will find that this edge piece is matching with this corner piece and edge uh, and center piece as well so this has got this position now other two let me see Okay, this uh, this was here, so I put it out and put it here. So this will be this is its position. No, another one, last one. And now you will find that our four edge pieces and two corner pieces are solved. Now we have to solve. Oh no, sorry, sorry. This edge piece is not fitting here. So let, let it be. So I am sure that this edge piece will come here. So what to do? Just as I did in the case of this edge piece, up center forward down backward and find that four edge pieces and two corner pieces are in the, in the respective position okay now we have to correct these two corner pieces to correct these two corner pieces we have i have an algorithm L, uh, algo for solving the corners and this is our uh, last algo I have written because it is applicable for the last layer as well, last time, last layer as well. I will explain it. At first, let's see how it works. So let me take. Okay, this corner piece will be fitted here. So as this corner piece will be fitted here, in here, I have to bring the corner piece just below the slot and apply this algorithm. What it says? Right down down forward right up down backward 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 and you find that this HP uh, corner piece came from here to here okay easy now this H corner piece let me see I what I did I just put the uh, took the corner piece from here and took it out and I think that okay this edge corner piece will be fitted here just I will apply this algorithm we can hold the cube in this position as well or in this position if we hold this cube in this position then we have to apply this algorithm with the right hand and the D is shown in this side will be shown at that side but it's better to hold it like this we apply this algorithm right down down forward right up down backward and done the first layer is finished completed now just turn the cube and so that this layer faces downward 
and you will find that uh, you have to match the center pieces with their respective corners uh, sorry center, uh, respective edge pieces and we have to find a inverted T formation in such a way that this edge piece will be matching with this corner uh, center piece but it will not match with this center piece so we can find that this edge piece is matching with this center piece so it will not fit it here or here so for placing the edge pieces and completing the second layer I have another algorithm basically two algorithms algos for solving the edges one this side and one this side so what they tell okay here I can find the inverted T formation see inverted T and the, uh, we have to assume by seeing the size of this uh, size of this edge piece that on which algorithm to apply if we apply this algorithm then this edge piece will fit it here so apply this algorithm u forward right up u uh, backward u right down u backward front anti clockwise u forward and front clockwise and you find that this algorithm due to the algorithm the edge piece came from here to here so as you also have seen this edge piece came from here to here by applying this algorithm okay now let us find another one okay here I can see another inverted T like formation and it's not matching with the center piece so I am sure that this will come at uh, either here or here by seeing the shape of this piece I can find that this edge piece will come here so I will apply this algorithm what it says u forward l up u backward l down u backward again front uh, clockwise oh, uh, sorry front clockwise u forward and front anti clockwise so this edge piece came from here to here similarly others uh, nothing matching yes this edge piece will come from this place to this place by applying this algorithm u forward l up u backward l down u backward front clockwise u forward and front anti clockwise okay now let's see this is the last piece to solve so i can see that this H pieces actual version is here but it's flipped so in this case we have to apply the uh, apply okay i am showing you how to do it at first we will exchange any of the edge pieces with this edge piece and then again we put this edge piece here and uh, so let's see how to do it I am taking this edge piece to put it here. So u forward l up u backward l down u backward front clockwise u forward and front and clockwise. Done now let's see. Yes, yes, this edge piece will now come here it has a t inverted t shape uh, t like formation so this algorithm again 
u forward l up u backward l down u backward front clockwise u forward and front and clockwise and in this way you will find that two layers of the cube are solved now let's solve the last layer and after solving the last layer our cube will be solved Similar to the 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube, the last layer also contains these two, three situations. Either a dot or an L shape in my case or an I shape or cross, direct cross. So, in case of L shape, we have to vertically uh, keep the uh, cube in such a position that the uh, formation is a vert uh, vertically opposite L and apply this algorithm what it says for uh, front clockwise right up u forward right down u backward and front anti clockwise and after uh, applying this algorithm we will find that a bar or i shape is created so again we have to apply this algorithm front clockwise right up for u forward right down u backward and front and clockwise and you will find that a cross is created as it's required it may happen that a dot is created or direct cross is created or i shape is created in case of dot apply the algorithm three times to make the cross so in my case i am finding that all the corner pieces all the edge pieces are aligned so let's see an exception case so friends in the exception case you will find that two of the edge pieces this one and this one in the l shape are matching with the centers or two of the edge pieces this one or and this one are matching with the centers in the bar or only one edge piece is matching with their center okay so in this case we have to apply this algorithm once and in the other two cases we have to apply this algorithm twice and we will align our edge pieces according to the centers so what the algorithm says at first i want to make clear that this edge piece and this edge piece are aligned with their centers so how to hold the cube is we have to hold the cube in such a way that one of the aligned edge piece is in our back and another one is in our left side I'm sorry right side okay one is right and another one at the back side and there will be a cross formation and we have to apply this algorithm what it says right up u forward right down u forward right up u two times forward or backward nothing matters and right down and u forward and you will find that our cross is created and the edge pieces are aligned with the centers now we have to correct the corners and we are correcting the corners ok in the corner piece at first we have to find a corner piece which is at its position but flipped these are the corner pieces the four corner pieces which are not solved i can find that this corner piece is in its center and it's just flipped so what to do is that keeping this corner piece in the left side we have to apply this algorithm what it says right up u forward left up u backward right down u forward left down u backward and you will find that uh, the edge pieces the uh, corner pieces has come to their centers uh, got to their positions I can find in my case that these two corner pieces are solved as well 
but you may find that after applying this algorithm once nothing happened or you may also find it in such a way that not not any of the corner pieces are in their position so what to do in that case is, is that apply this algorithm once twice thrice four times and uh, four times okay or unlimited times once upon once you will find that one corner piece it will be in its position but clipped or directly in its position okay so taking that corner piece in your left hand side apply the algorithm again once twice or thrice to put their the other corners at their respective positions and then the last algo comes this one this algorithm i told you in the for first that this algorithm is also used to solve the last layer last corners so these and these two corners are flipped so what to do taking any of the corner at the right hand side after this algorithm write down down forward right up down backward right down down forward right up down backward right down down forward right up down backward very easy algorithm right down down forward right up down backward similarly last last corner piece right down down forward right up down backward right down down forward right down right up down backward and you will find that in this way the whole messed up mirror cube is solved so if you like the video please click the like option in the video of the video please is my honest request to you all my viewers and if you are new to my channel click the subscribe bar and click the bell icon to never miss another update please subscribe my channel i need more subscribers and like my video as also meet with you in another exciting video until then goodbye